Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So this is your reading for the month of May and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid Cancer. This reading is primarily focused around your love life. Okay, we'll see what is your energy when it comes to your love life. Then we'll see. Uh, then we'll see two things, your ex and your next, okay? In your, uh, when it comes to your ex, we'll see what your ex is truly thinking and feeling about you, what are their current thoughts about you. And when it comes to your next person, we'll try to collect as much information as possible regarding your next romantic partner, okay? So this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid cancer. And there is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comments section. I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll read the energy scanser. All right, let's get started. As far as your energy is concerned, we have death and rebirth. I'm going to lay down the cards first. Then we have two of cups. Interesting. Then we have the wheel of fortune. Wow. When it comes to your ex, we have three of wands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we have three of pentacles. A lot of trees over here. Then we have the knight of swords. Wow. <laughs> okay. Then when it comes to your new person, your next romantic partner, we have the fool. Nine of swords. The page of cups. The ace of wands. And the tower. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Queen of Pentacles. Cancer, if I have to talk about the zodiac signs, I see Scorpio, Aries, uh, Sagittarius. Scorpio and Aries is standing out real strong. Like, real, real strong. Okay. You might be dealing with Pisces as well. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Uh... If I have to talk about your energy cancer, we have the death and rebirth, two of cups and the wheel of fortune. Now, I am getting some mixed energies from you, okay? Like, what are you actually thinking about your love life or what is it that you want to happen uh, when it comes to your love life, okay? So, for some of you, I think, for some of you, I think you are manifesting your ex back in your life. You want to reignite the situation now. Now, now I'll tell you, uh, this might be in which case. Uh, this is going to be uh, for those people who have experienced true love in the situation. But for whatsoever reasons... Maybe the timing was wrong when both of you came together in the past and you couldn't be together and then you had to part ways and now it's like you both of you cannot stop thinking about one another. Both of you are like, no, I want to be, I, I, I cannot stop thinking about cancer. <clears throat> Your person is like, I cannot stop thinking about cancer. You are like, I cannot stop thinking about my person. Okay, so... Uh, for some of you, you're manifesting someone from the past with whom you had a connection, with whom you felt this extraordinary connection, extraordinary pull, and uh, there was a lot of love in that situation, but the timing was wrong. <clears throat> okay, excuse me, my throat. The timing was wrong at that point of time. Okay, so for some of you, I do see you're manifesting someone from the past. You want things to happen with that person. You want uh, to reignite a romantic situation with that person. For others of you, now there is another scenario that I see over here. 
for others of you you probably are going to meet someone online and very soon both of you will develop interest in one another pretty soon okay and both of you i do see that there will be this desire from within uh, from your end and from this person's end that you're going to meet online there will be this inner desire that let's get into a relationship let's end this distance long distance situation once and for all and let's come together let's unite let's get into the union okay so i do see you dedicated and devoted towards this connection that you will experience with someone that you're going to meet online online or probably it's going to be a long distance connection okay all right so then let's see what your ex truly thinks and feels about you cancer we have uh, three of wands we have three of pentacles and we have knight of swords uh <clears throat> i think so your ex is missing you a lot they are missing you a lot this person okay i am getting a story over here cancer your ex was actually waiting for you to come back your ex was waiting for you to pick up your phone and you texting them or you uh, calling them you dialing their number and you calling them and you reaching out to them this person wanted to know like how what is what are what is your thought process when it comes to this connection they are completely aware that things went downhill between you and them something undesirable happened and they want to come back they want to make things right but they also want to know before they come back and before they make things right like is there even 1% willingness at from your end to make things right or to re reignite the situation or to make things happen between both of you all over again this person wanted to know that okay they know it they have acknowledged it and they are going to acknowledge that when they will come when they will come towards you okay so and this person was waiting with the three of wands they were waiting for a, they they did wait for a long time the intention is definitely to reconnect to build a relationship all over with you a stable relationship this time around they want to be they want to be right they want to be uh, correct in their approach they don't want to end up doing anything wrong that will end up harming this connection that will end up harming hurting you they don't want to do any such uh, they don't want to take any such action in the month of may it kind of looks like this person is growing desperate your ex is growing desperate they they are like i cannot keep on waiting now i i i really want to be with cancer i really want to reconnect with cancer what if cancer reconnects with someone else what if cancer is waiting for me what if uh, cancer moves on and proceeds with someone else okay so before cancer takes any kind of a decision it is very important for me to get to do that to do that heart to heart communication with cancer that it is very important for me that cancer knows what are my feelings for them it is they they feel they are, they are going to feel that urgency and that is why we have knight of swords that is why we see that this person they will have this desire to come rushing towards you to let you know like this is what my true intention is i'm sorry for whatever happened i know i was wrong okay and i acted very immature 
I, I completely agree. Whatever happened between us, I am the one who should be blamed for everything. But can you forgive me for whatever I've done? Can you? Can we restart this? Can we have a fresh start between both of us? Can we uh, give another chance to our relationship and truly experience its beauty? This person is coming back. They are rushing back. They will be like, they they will start realizing that probably it's a it was a mistake on their part to wait for you to connect connect to them because they know that they were the one who committed the mistake they were the one because of whom this relationship got shattered it was broken down and they should have come towards you long back but they did not come on the contrary this person was waiting for you to contact them so they will sort of think that it's a wrong approach. Whatever their thought process is when it comes to this connection that they are experiencing with you, that thought process is wrong. That is what they will feel. And the moment they feel that it was wrong on their part to wait for you or to wait for any kind of communication from your end, at that moment, they will start feeling desperation, urgency to come back to you, to rush towards you with that heart-to-heart -heart communication to let you know that, hey, cancer, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever, whatever I have done and I want to reconnect with you, reignite the situation with you. They, they, their intention, at least right now, they are looking very sincere. They want to start, they want to get into a stable relationship with you. And I don't see like, it's going to be the case, like if they come rushing towards you and then you guys get into a passionate encounter and once the passion fizzles away, this person is, is going to ghost you all over again. No, I don't see that kind of a scenario over your cancer. I do see some sincere intentions. Let's talk about your next person. We have the Fool, we have Nine of Swords, we have Page of Cups, Ace of Wands and the Tower. Okay. This next person of yours, they have recently experienced a major end of something in their life. Either a relationship, either a loss of a person or this person is undergoing a major transition like they are undergoing a transition in, in their career. They, they probably might have left a nine to four, nine to five. And now they are getting into a business or something. Or probably even they want to become a travel blogger, travel blogger. So there is something that they are working on. I think so you're going to meet this person when they are traveling or when they are getting relocated somewhere. Okay. Because they want to heal themselves. There is this need to feel, there is this need to experience a new beginning in their life. Consecutive tower moments, for some of you, this person might have experienced back-to-back -back, uh, major situations, major incidences in their life. They might have experienced end of a relationship. They probably might have, uh, they probably were fired from a job. They might have lost someone. Some of them might have experienced everything together. So this person experienced a lot of stress in the recent past. And they release themselves from that stress to heal themselves from this, from these dark situations. This person will be either traveling or getting relocated somewhere. 
with an intention to have a new beginning. And when, when they are going to do that, when they will be relocating or traveling or probably even start something new, like when this person will be undergoing a major change in their life, which pretty, which looks like it's going to happen in the month of May because these cards are for the month of May. At that point of time, you're going to meet this person. But somewhere I see the hint of long distance relationship for you, Cancer. Okay. I do see that the next person with whom you're going to be with, there is going to be a long distance situation initially. Okay. This person is very young looking person. This will start off, might start off as a friendship. It's not necessarily, it's not going to be the case for every one of you. Uh, but yes, for some of you, I do see this will start off as a friendship. For others of you, maybe you guys will get into a conversation over, over a glass of wine or something. I, I do see you guys bumping into one another in a restaurant. You are alone for, for a dinner, for your meal. And this person is alone for their meal. And both of you are respectively enjoying your glasses of wine or your glasses of alcohol on your respective tables and then one person is going to notice the other, other one and then they will be like do you mind if i come to your table and i think so the other person is going to willingly accept that offer and that's how things are going to start i mean might be for <laughs> this might be a situation for few of you not for all of you but that's what i see happening This person is going to be very loyal, very, very loyal. And I think so they have this quality within them. Like if they are going through some dark times or if they are going through some difficulties in their life, they don't share about it with other people. They don't share much about it with other people. I mean... This person, whoever this person is, they are very, very independent, highly, highly independent person. They are very self-reliant person. And they think that if I share my story, other people might end up expecting that this person needs some sort of help. And that's why they are sharing their story. And that is not the case they are simply sharing their story because they simply want to share it to someone they want to get it out of their system they are not sharing it because they are expecting any kind of help from someone but this probably might have happened in the past once or twice like they ended up sharing their story and then people were like you know what i cannot do much about it and this person was like, no, I'm not sharing this because I want you to do anything about it. I just wanted to share this because I wanted to let it out. Okay. And this person is definitely not expecting any kind of help from anyone because they, like I told you, they are extremely independent, highly self-reliant person. And initially you might feel it, feel that they're a bit adamant that they don't open up much, this person will take time to open up. And that's why I see that this might start off as a friendship. Okay? Because they don't like to take favors. I don't know why that's the case. This person thinks that I don't I don't like to take favors. And Hmm. Apart from that, I do feel this person, they do have friends, but maybe because this person keeps on traveling a lot, either for the reasons of work or as, as a hobby, they connect with their friends after a very long time. They reconnect with their friends after a very long time. 
or people that they really care after a very long time okay uh sometimes even you might find it bit odd like once they once they go for travel they go on travel for extended periods of time and you might find it slightly odd or difficult to understand like why they are away for such a long time but don't worry this like i told you this person is 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 a, a loyal person they won't do anything to harm this connection or hurt you okay they are a curious person they like to travel i think so travel is a travel heals this person a lot and this person i think so they've been through a lot that is also why i feel like they are they're a bit closed off okay they are coming across as slightly closed off and they heal themselves or they make themselves feel better by traveling or exposing themselves to different environments and different cultures or different people okay this person is a nature lover i think so this person visits animal sanctuaries uh, zoos quite often i think so this person is also uh, is a huge donor to uh, to causes that are related to animals okay they are going to love you a lot this person is going to be extremely good in the bed extremely extremely good and you're going to you're going to feel so satisfied trust me you're going to feel extremely satisfied okay uh i think so you'll be you will keep on craving for more and more and more from this person and this person is like they have tremendous amount of energy trust me they have a huge uh, i don't know where the energy gets stored in their body okay but they have that tremendous amount of energy stored within them and if you ask this person to keep on going on for the entire night they won't mind it they will happily happily they will be like let's go ahead and do it this person will never say no to you for anything for anything that's what i'm getting okay their main purpose will be to keep you happy so where this person will will understand without even you sharing your stories with them that you have been through a lot that you have uh, sustained difficult situations romantic or otherwise in your life and they will have that sympathy angle to you okay and don't think that they are in love with you because they sympathize you no they are they are in love with you but they they feel your energy and that's why that sympathy or empathy angle will be always there okay you will have a very good relationship with this person i think so you, if this person needs any kind of healing that healing will come from you okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person cancer all right take care have a great time and bye 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 bye